Imagine you've been in a relationship for over a year and mm. things are amazing. Oh, that's Aww. nice. You think that they're with you because they find you so attractive. Yeah. And you have so much chemistry together. Oh, I love that. Or like Brooke and her husband, you already have the same last name anyway, so it's <laughs> super easy. Aww. No paperwork involved. Yeah. yeah. Only to find out years later, none of that was true. What? Oh. In fact, the only reason they ever wanted to go out is because of a small piece of information that they heard about you through the grapevine. Uh-oh. And they have been keeping it a secret the entire time. No. What? No, oh, Jeffrey. We were in love. Oh, yes. I thought it was romance. Yeah. But one <laughs> I of it our, was the last name thing. One of our listeners wants to confess the real reason she dated a guy back in college, and she's felt guilty about it ever since oh. in a brand new mass speaker. It's coming up at 710. You don't know me. A confession I can't take back. I am... The Masked Speaker. Got a text of 78592 that says, As a nanny, I've mm. seen many first steps and heard many <laughs> first words, but oh. I would never share that with the parents. Good. Oh, wait a minute. That is the angel's word. No, mm. that means that nope. these kids are already nope. speaking. Nope. You don't want to know. As <laughs> yeah. a working mom, you don't want to know, okay? I'm you guessing because they were all it. curse words as the oh. first word. You, know, you don't want to ruin a parent like that. Brooke, would you be proud, though, if your child's first word was some sort of heinous profanity? Well, I mean, I will say my last name being Fox was very difficult oh. for oh. my toddler children. The okay. F-word. Yeah. Both out. of them. Yeah. 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 People that don't know you were like, you just teach them that Yeah. Way? yeah. <laughs> Why is she so proud of her uh-huh. kid? Yeah, but hey, <laughs> you know what? If you want, you can always have your baby come on our show oh, and let them yeah. say their first swear word Aww. live on the radio. Yeah, yeah. And so we'll sweet. protect them by masking their little tiny baby voice while they do it. <laughs> I want to hear kids swear. And we've got a woman who's ready to say some naughty things on our show anonymously mm. using the fake name Tara. So let's talk to her. Tara, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks so much. It's, uh, it's cool to be talking to you. All right. Hey, hey Tara, keep it clean, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. Right. <laughs> Voice changer is on. You are the mass speaker. Whenever you're ready, we want to hear your confession. Okay. So this goes back to my college days. So it's going back Oof. roughly 10 years. Okay. Um, okay. I went to a random frat party, as you know, you do when you're in college. And right. I was like hanging out with a bunch of friends. And there was this guy there, and he just like was kind of staring at me from across the room for a while. And, and was then, that a good thing or was that a creepy I mean, thing? he was cute enough. It wasn't creepy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ugly test. If you look creepy automatically, you're probably a little ugly. Well, sometimes it's the drunk girl and you're just staring because you're worried for them. Oh, yeah. Really, yeah. Jeff? The at a frat party, yeah, you're really I worried? Cause I stare because yeah. I care. Because you uh, care. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. That's a funny excuse. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what happened? So eventually we did talk for a while and he was like, he seemed pretty nice, you know? He was kind of cute. Um, I hadn't, like, seen him around before, and so I asked him, like, why that was or what dorm he was in or whatever, and he mentioned he was from a small town called Meredith, New Hampshire. Now, I know that's a random detail to remember, but my mom's name is Meredith, so I was never going to forget where he was from. Oh, that's funny. You're like, whoa, there's a town named after my mom. That's cool. That's cool. (laughs) All right. (laughs) So he just said, like, he came up on weekends fairly often because a friend of his was at school. Oh, he wasn't even uh, a student there. No, but he would come up to visit. Yeah, yeah. So he he gave me his number. He was nice enough not to ask for mine. That was smart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And okay. I have to be completely honest. I had zero intention of ever reaching out to him. Oh, okay. you said he was kind of cute, though. Yeah, she said kind of. I mean, yeah, but... She said, yeah. she said cute right. enough not to be a total weirdo, <laughs> right. but... And he doesn't even go to the school. You're yeah. very far away. Okay, you're And okay. she's right. drunk at a party. Like, she's not looking for a relationship. It doesn't add up. All right, yeah. so you're you right. reject him. Well, I was just going to not get in touch. I guess that's rejection. Yeah, yeah. So, whatever. Okay. You know, go back to my life. And this was just, it was like sometime, I think, the next week. I was in a class, and it was like a big lecture hall, so you don't always really know many people in the class. Right. And randomly, I um, heard behind me someone explaining that they were from a small town called Meredith, New Hampshire. And I'm like, oh, oh, no way. Weird. <laughs> so immediately, like, do you know this guy? Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. always, yeah. you know. That's like if anyone's from Spirit Lake, Idaho, they got to no. talk to Brooke. If anyone's from Idaho, they that's ask true. if they know him. <laughs> like, it is a very large place. So you asked that question? Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Like, excuse me, but I literally just met someone from there. Yeah. And they were like, oh, you have to tell us who. Like, everyone knows everyone. Yeah. So his name is Todd and I was like, do you know him? And they said, 
everyone knows Todd. And I was like, okay, it's either a really good thing or a really bad thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the why? mass murderer of yeah. Meredith, New Hampshire. Of course we know him. Or you mean the most lovable guy in the world? Yeah. <laughs> Love him. Todd's the best. Todd's amazing. He saved a bunch of puppies last week. What did you learn? Right. Exactly. So they explained that just a few months before that, he won the lottery. He won $4 million. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, oh. a college kid winning $4 million. Crazy. How many just, years did he have the money for? Yeah, just oh stay my yeah. God. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was really crazy. And I think, I mean, this is where it becomes like a moment of truth about who I am. Okay. okay. You called him. Um, I called him that night. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow, Todd. <laughs> and I didn't tell him why. I actually never, ever, ever mentioned the lottery. Oh. Ever. Did he ever bring it up? No, but strangely, oh. like, he just said, like, he had come into a little money. He just said it, like, that once. Okay. And I was like, I'm not going to pry, so. I'm not going to pry because you already know. <laughs> I'm not asking about your money. I just thought you were so darn cute at that yeah. party. I just couldn't stop thinking about you this entire time. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you guys go yeah. on a date? We dated for a year and a half. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Okay, was it a lavish life or what happened? It wasn't too crazy. It wasn't like he was, like, throwing diamond necklaces my way, but we, we oh, went smart. on some really amazing vacations. Oh, yeah, that's man. always, like, that's cool. Did you learn to be attracted to him? How did you yeah. learn? <laughs> I mean, we had a great year and a half relationship, but, you know, when you're in your really early 20s, obviously, he's changing a lot. I was changing yeah. a lot. It's, yeah. it's just like it kind of, we grew apart or oh, whatever. Like, we ended amicably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Do you know, like, is he is he still living a rich man's life somewhere? Or I mean, I, I'm Facebook friends with him. He doesn't really post a lot, it, so he, he's not, like, showing off or anything. Oh, interesting. Mm. Like, if you're going to win $1 million for the lottery, he's doing it the right way. Take some nice yeah. vacation. Okay, wow. so he's a good guy. It seems like you invested the money or something. Who knows? And that, was, awesome. that was until she met a guy named Adam Bezos and was like, yeah. I have a really, really <laughs> smart brother. And she's like, ooh, I should meet him sometime. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> anyway, th- <laughs> thanks for telling us wow. that. Text in 78592. If you have a confession you've been holding on to, we can hide your voice and make you the next mass speaker. Your phone tap's coming up right after this.